we have Ludwig Göransson, who is the composer for Oppenheimer, best score soundtrack for visual media. All right, so we're going to open it up to questions. I'm going to start with Jasmine. Congratulations, how does it feel to uh, win the Grammy today? It feels, feels great to be here, yeah, thank you. All right, we have a question over here. Hi, congratulations. Um, the movie is three hours. I'm wondering, one, is it the longest film that you've ever done a score for? And can you talk about interacting with the director? Were you given a blank canvas, or did he give you some specific request? Yeah, so the first thing I did was to read the script for Oppenheimer. And uh, after I read the script, Christopher Nolan told me that the only idea he had for the score was to use the violin to portray the personality of Oppenheimer. And after that, I set out to write the score. And that was about three months before he shot the film. So the most special time to write music with Christopher Nolan is before he shoots the film. So we sit, we sit down about once a week for three months. And I write about five minutes of music every week. And then we sit down. We talk about it, we listen to it over and over again. We um, listen to the sound design, we listen to the themes um, of my music, and then we kind of create our own sound world. So when he starts sh shooting the film, he has about two or three hours of my music that's constantly on repeat in his head. And then when we start um, putting a first cut together for the film, he uses my music um, in the first director's cut. So it's a very um, collaborative process to work with Christopher Nolan, and he's so particular and spends a lot of time working with me on the music. So it's a very collaborative process. All right, we're going to do two more questions. The next, next one. Next question is from X Blaze Virtually. Hi, congratulations again on your win. Um, I did want to ask you, what have been some things that you've learned on your journey leading up to this point winning this Grammy? Uh, uh, that's a great question. Uh, there's a lot of things that I've learned this journey. I mean, first time I, I came here to the, to, the, to the Grammy Awards was with, uh, with Childish Gambino um, about, I mean, 10 years ago, maybe. And we performed here once. We did a song um, live here at the Grammy. It was in New York at the time. We won a couple of awards, 2019 Record of the Year, I think. And, uh, and then Black Panther won at the same time. And now, and then at 2019, at that Grammy Awards, uh, me and my wife, we were like not eight months pregnant. So we were, it was a different time than now. But then at this Grammy Awards, being here, nominated with Christopher Nolan, and also Ryan Coogler for What Kind of Forever and Lift Me Up, and it's, it's just such an incredible time to, for me because I love writing music for film, and I love writing music with artists and produce songs and, and write music for the radio, for, you know, for albums, and, and it's such a great feeling to be able to celebrate both of those worlds, both of those worlds that I'm working in at the same event and the same show. So it's, it's, uh, I love being here. All right, our final question from Billboard. Hey, congratulations. Um, I just wanted to ask, going off of what you just said, what do you love so much about that overlap of working with you know, movie music? And you've had so much success, so why does that keep bringing you back time and time again? I think music, Nowadays, I mean, it's always been a, a, a place where you can, you know, create your own worlds or go to a different world or dream away from where you are at the moment. And that's very close to cinema. You know, you can you go into the movie theater and you're you're at a completely different um, place and a completely different um, emotional state. And what I love is to combine both of those, both of those um, art forms and to create cinematic music or to create music for, for film. It's, and, and get to work with artists that are also writers, that are also creative of worlds. 
and to be part of those journeys. And that's that's um, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing, and and that's why I'm here. Thank you very much. That's all the time we have for all the questions. Thank you.